This past week, we told you how the East Bay's 911 ambulance service is being taken for a ride by people who just want to get to the ER for a sandwich and a warm place to sleep. But it's not just an East Bay problem. KPX 5's Susie Stein will discovered it is happening all over the Bay Area and it is costing the emergency response system millions of dollars. day long, a steady stream of ambulances pull up to Summit Hospital in Oakland, unload patients onto gurneys, and roll them through the emergency room door. A casual observer would never know. Many of these patients are regulars here. How often are you seeing them? Every day. What month were you born? Charge nurse John Mullen says they're known in the ER as frequent flyers. They can come here four or five hours and they go to the next hospital four or five hours just cycle through, you know, so you can cover 24 hours. And we've had patients that literally hit every hospital within like 25 miles. We told you about the impact the top 25 frequent flyers are having on Alameda County ambulances, costing the county more than $2.5 million in just the past two years. If ambulances are becoming Ubers, then hospitals are becoming hotels. Mullen says usually it's the homeless coming in with all their belongings, looking for a sandwich and a warm place to sleep. Eileen Mulcahy, who lives in an encampment just down the street, says she stayed at the hospital for hours at a time. So actually, I have gone in there, you know, before, and just to warm up or wait until Bart started running or, you know. She says she's also been sick several times. Respiratory, you know, from living in a tent and, um, you know, from the cold and, and whatnot. They've always been really good to me and my puppy, so. Yeah, yeah, and she, yeah they let your dog yeah, come along? Yes, yes. They fell in love with her and allowed her to stay in the room with me all, all those times. For the hospital, it's a juggling act. It's just something we can't always address in like a good way in the ER because at the same time we're dealing with heart attacks and strokes and people that require like medical attention or they won't, you know, possibly survive. It's not just Summit Hospital. Last year in the Bay Area, 700 patients made up 25,700 visits to the ER. That's roughly 1% of the population using 20% of healthcare resources. Triage. Summit Hospital's medical director, Ron Barrel, is piloting a new regional project that has allowed local hospitals and 911 emergency systems the ability to share frequent user data. He says it's been an eye-opener. We had one patient, we saw this patient 40 times in a year, and that seems like a lot, three and a half times a month. And then we can link this data and share it with our sister hospitals in the community. We found out that the county hospital was seeing this patient 300 times a year. That's described as an extreme utilizer. There were 46 of them going to multiple emergency rooms in Alameda County and San Francisco more than 100 times in the last year. That's on top of 160 super utilizers with 50 to 99 ER visits and 871 high utilizers with 20 to 49 trips to the ER. There's even a rising group of 3,200 people believed likely to become frequent flyers. The preferred mode of transport, ambulance, but they also favor public transit. We began to see people going to emergency departments that were end of the line for BART. We're taking BART to the end of the line. Paramedics tell us every night around 1.30 in the morning when BART closes, the homeless people who are sleeping on these trains will then call 911 so that they can go to the hospital for a place to sleep. Many of them have fresh bracelets on their wrists from recent trips to the hospital. They'll linger on the platform or lie on the ground until someone forces them out. That's when they say they need an ambulance. On this night, two frequent flyers asked to be taken to the hospital after BART closed down. Paramedics know both of them by name and say they've transported them hundreds of times. 36, if you could have the ambulance paramedics come up, he's unable to walk. This man says he had congestive heart failure that night, but wouldn't let paramedics check his heart. He was transported on a gurney. The other walked to the ambulance by himself. Add up police, fire response, ambulance fees, ER fees, and hospitalization, 1,077 top utilizers in Alameda and San Francisco counties alone are estimated to cost the system $56.6 million 
a year. I'm going to go and write for some medicine for that. Back at Summit, you would think after seeing the same patients night after night, doctors and paramedics would be jaded. They're not. And who wouldn't blame them? They know there's an open place with a bathroom that's warm. Um, and you do what you need to to survive. First responders point out these frequent flyers are just cold, hungry, and desperately trying to find a corner of the world that they won't get chased out of. Until that happens, they'll linger at the BART station, waiting for the next ride. In Fremont, Susie Steimel, KPIX 5. And to answer your next question, in California, ambulances cannot refuse transport. But the frequent flyer crisis is prompting the state emergency medical system to start looking for other possible options, like alternative destinations for people with mental illness and addiction problems. We'll be following this story, but for now, mm -hmm. it's time to say goodnight, and thank you for watching. 60 Minutes is next. And for news throughout the evening, go to kpix.com, and we'll see you back here at 11 o'clock.